Hello, here is the little tutorial I have for Construct 3. Now Construct, it is a web browser based game engine, which is you know, kind of weird. You don't have to download anything, uh, unless it's your personal game file, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, and it is only used in Google Chrome. So if you're not a mainly Chrome user, well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to use Chrome for this one. Now, uh, let's, let's dive right in. So uh, in the link in the description, there will be construct.net. And you know, you'll be presented with this page, with the happy flying pig, toys and stars, when pigs fly. I just got that. Anyways. Uh, so all you have to do is just hit get started and you'll come to this little this little happy page you know with, with some level layout and you just hit launch construct 3 simple as that let it load up and make a project let's call this project origami because i got an origami dragon on my desk and that's the first thing that came to mind uh here we have choose presets so we can do a 4x3 landscape or a 3x4 landscape I mean portrait uh, we could do 720p 720p landscape uh, you know yeah let's do that um, orientation landscape could do portrait but it's landscape preset so let's do landscape optimize for pixel art yes and this program mainly it's actually super helpful to know the uh, that the key co combine key bindings. Bah, that's what it's called. So if you hold Control and scroll, you can zoom in and out. Uh, if you hold Space, you can drag this around, or middle mouse button. Either or doesn't matter. It's your choice. I personally like Space. Uh, and you know, there's Control Z, Control C. Control V, Control Y, X, Y, P, Q, the whole plethora of them. Uh, on the left hand side, yeah, left hand side, we have the properties. Uh, we have the level layout, the size of the map, uh, we got scrolling effects that you can do, such as all that stuff. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, we also have editors such as choose and stuff. You just show it your grid, snap to grid, grid size 32 by 32. Uh, if your pixel art is not 32 by 32, I recommend changing your pixel art, not change your pixel, changing the grid size so that it fits your pixel art. So that way your stuff doesn't go all blocky and annoying. And you got spaces and stuff. Uh, we got show collision polygons, uh, translucent and active layers, blah blah blah. Right, that's the left hand side. That changes depending on what you click, such as uh, objects in the room, or platforms, or players, or other happy dandy stuff. Next, we have the projects, which is your pretty much your entire level and everything that's in it so we have the layout which is this white page we have the event sheet which is over here which is where all your programming stuff goes have object types family sounds music videos fonts icons and files everything i believe everything gets sorted out properly if you do it correctly but hey that's you you make errors you're a human Go make errors. They're always fun. Uh, next, we have the time map below the project. Um, project, what's it called? Screen thing, my bobber. Layout thing. Anyway, I have a tile map, which is all your fancy dancy stuff, and layers, which you generally only have two layers. Two or three, I believe it's only two is the limit. If you wish to have more, you have to log in. You gotta, gotta make that thing. 
So here I'll just log in and boom, I get more stuff. So let me show you what my project I made. So here, oh boy, do we got we got some stuff. We've got a whole whole big old level. We have we have two separate backgrounds, we have land that the player is able to jump on, we got platforms, we got little evil guys, uh, we got gems. I mean how can you not want gems? Got bullets, got checkpoints, got cameras, got whole bunch of stuff. These are all objects. Everything in here. All oh, these are objects. Oh, so nice. Uh, as you can see over here, the properties properties page has changed quite a bit. We have now a sign wave. We have effects. We have collisions. So yeah, this is. Look at what you can make with your game, with your idea. You can make a game. This is a very big game. Oof, this this was quite something to make. And over here we have the event sheet. I believe it's 50? Yeah, you can have a total of 50 events in your project. And the events are these parts. And groups also count as events. So player movement, this is a group. Where it says player, player, the keyboard, player, system, checkpoint. Yeah, these are all events. These are all functions? Yeah, functions that you put to your events to make the game work. So look at that. L look at all this you can. This may be overwhelming, but trust me, it is not. This is very simple. You can do it. You're human. Go be you. Uh, thanks for watching.